Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Alan Troop reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Monday, August 26th. Tonight, we report on the power outages that took place during a lightning storm Sunday night, and a disciplinary hearing is finished for Quincy Police Officer David Anderson. In sports, we have the results from Saturday's racing in Ephrata. And our spotlight story tonight is about people taking the plunge into Moses Lake to help fight cancer. We also have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the I-501 Weather Center. Our top story tonight, a lightning storm blew through Grant County Sunday night, knocking power out for about 6,500 homes and businesses. Lightning hitting transformers and wind blowing down power lines blacked out Grant County PUD customers in Moses Lake, Ephratus, Soap Lake, Warden, and Wilson Creek, according to Grant PUD Public Affairs Officer Thomas Stredwick. About 50 customers in the roof area near Wilson Creek and the May Valley near Moses Lake were still without power this morning. The power was expected to be restored today. The storm passed through between 6 and 8 p.m. and it produced heavy rain, strong winds, and numerous lightning strikes. A lot of power lines and structures were damaged in the storm and PUD crews worked all night to restore power. A woman is dead after reportedly falling off the back of a motorcycle near George Friday night. Sherry Warner, a 35-year-old Beaverton woman, was a passenger on a Harley-Davidson motorcycle driven by 56-year-old Daryl Harris. Harris was about five miles west of George and headed east on Interstate 90 when Beaverton reportedly fell off and was struck by another vehicle. She died at the scene. Harris was cited for DUI. The Washington State Patrol reported the cause of the fatality is still under investigation. A disciplinary decision about Quincy Police Officer David Anderson should come within the next couple of weeks. Interim Police Chief Greg Meinzer said a hearing for the officer accused of lying on a search warrant was held last week. The officer has been on administrative leave since December when the Wenatchee Police Department conducted an outside investigation into possible criminal charges. It was followed by an administrative investigation. Meinzer said he used the results of the investigation to hold the hearing. The officer was allowed to present any mitigating factors, circumstances, and rebuttal he had to offer at the hearing. He was accused of lying on a warrant application to search a vehicle for items stolen in a burglary. No stolen items were found. Prosecutor Angus Lee declined to file charges against Anderson, stating the evidence points to a young, inexperienced officer who likely made mistakes when applying for a search warrant. The reasons for an apparent drive-by shooting in Moses Lake Friday evening are unclear. Grant County Sheriff's deputies were called to the Larson housing area about 7 p.m. after reports of shots being fired near Mitchell Avenue and Cannon Lane. No one was injured in the shooting. The Sheriff's Office said it's not clear who was targeted or why, and there is little information about the possible suspect or a vehicle. Big Bend Community College and the Columbia Basin Job Corps were put into lockdown until law enforcement was sure the area was safe. Anyone with information about the shots being fired can call 509-762-1160 or email crimetips at co.grant.wa.us. Each of the people you see here has warrants for their arrest and is wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. 
You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We will be right back with these messages with the latest from our iFiber One Weather Center, sports, and more news.